Party Swive Team 19 here with cool tricks on smart notebook software. Okay, let's get started. So first we have um, our cursor tool right here. So that we can just like, if we write a name, let's say, let's say we'll write a word, let's say write hello. I go back to the mouse tool and I can drag things. One thing you can do with the mouse if you have a word thing here. Um, you can write, let's say, you can click up here where it says recognize hello, right here. So you click on that, and it converts your text, like your word, or your writing, in, right into text. Okay? So that's by going here, write hello, with a standard writing pen. And you click on your word and click recognize hello up here on the top. Next thing we'll do... So let's go to a new page. Let's go to um, Creative Pen. So here we have some cool pens. Right? We have all these cool pens you can use, like smiley faces. It's cool. um, okay. okay, another cool thing with the eraser here is, if, let's say I want, I'm writing something for the students on here, let's say. I have my text here, I'm going to just write anything. Take my eraser, take either any size eraser you want, I'm going to take a medium one, and make a big circle around your text. And then just tap in the middle of your text, and, oh, whoopsies, didn't work here. Just tap in the middle, and everything erases, so all your text is going to be gone. Another thing we have is our line tool. Okay, so we can like draw a line, like a number line. Take our pen, do a number line. Now I'm not really using a smart board, I'm using an eBeam interactive whiteboard, the eBeam Edge for Education. That's what I'm using here. Um, another thing we can do, just showing you the basic tools here. Okay, another thing we have here is a shape tool. So I'm going to take a square. And I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to like make us. You can make shapes here. You can move them around. Okay, that's one tool. And then if you go to the... I have an arrow because I have my resolution is 800 times 600 low resolution so I can see everything on the screen. Um, so if we go to this tool right here, this tool, uh, bucket, you click on it, and then you can click your color over here. So I have that color. So you click in the middle of your shape, and you have like a, like a, it's like a cover, so if you, if you're in, if you have some kind of writing for the students, and you have like an answer here, and you want to cover it up, you use this little tool here to cover What the? Okay, hold on. So if you have some kind of word or something, you have words, you just take this and you cover the text up. Sorry for the things that are not working here. Okay, so you can cover the answer up, and then when you're ready for the students, you just click on the box, move it over, and there's the answer. And the students can see the answer. Next thing we'll do is the... This tool right here, which is the one right above the arrow. So click on that. And then we have a ruler, um, a protractor, and I don't know what that is, like a triangle thing. So here we have a ruler, so with students, you can measure things. Students, you can measure things, how long this is, blah, blah, blah. It's one tool. Then we have a protractor. So with the protractor, if you have an angle example, and you need to measure that, you take your protractor here. Whoopsie, sorry. Whoops. Take your protractor. Make sure it's leveled up. And you can use it. Well, here, this my lines are not straight. 
Let's do that again. Come on. Sorry. So let's go here. Paste it. Okay. So here we have, let's say, we draw our line from the middle, which is here. And then now we take the protractor and we're able let's say 120 degrees. And then wait no, actually I'm using the wrong tool. We're supposed to use the line tool. Go from there and you use a line tool to get a straight precise line. And then you should have your thing. It's just I use this so long You should have your line there. So when you put the protractor back on Okay, just let's skip this step. Next step. Let's go to our text. So here we're able to, we can draw like an outline of box here. And in the middle we're able to draw, or not really draw, but you know, um, write, type, I mean, yeah, type text. So our next step. We'll go to our create um our magic pen, which is right here. Okay, so if we click on our if we click on our magic pen. Okay, so there's three three easy thing three like cool tricks you can do with the magic pen. Okay, one is if you have some kind of um let's say. Let's say we have typed text, so we write hello, and then let's say we can't, like kids in the classroom can't read that, like they're in far in back of the room, they can't read that, we go to our magic, um, well actually no, I'm, uh, okay, okay, let's say they can't read that, so we're going to take our magic pen, make a rectangle up around our text, and then let go. And you see how the magic pen automatically zooms on on your text. See, so see, it says hello, all zoomed in. Next one we have, let's say we have all these words here. And we have okay, bad, and we want students to pay attention to one of those words, like just straight zoomed in on that word. We're going to take our magic pen again, and we're going to make a circle around bad. And you see how it makes some kind of like screen shade, and it just draws the attention of your students right to that word. Now, next one we'll do is the oh, the last step is of of the magic pen is just writing. So let's just write um hello. Oh, whoopsie, sorry. Ooh. Okay, just write. Let's write hi, right here. Okay, you know, let's, let's go to the next page. So let's write hi, and watch what happens to the writing. It starts to disappear. So the cool thing about the magic pen is your words or your lines or your, starts to disappear after a while. And you can't erase anything. It doesn't erase. It just disappears. That's the cool thing about the magic pen. Next, we're going to go to the shape pen, which is right on the top. Right here. So if we click on the shape pen, and you get like a greenish pen. And then, let's say we want to make... Okay, so I'm going to make my own writing. I'm going to make a square. This one. Oh, probably... Okay, I see. Okay, is working that well? Oh, something's wrong with that shape. Oh, that's why. Okay, okay. Okay. So let's erase that. So let's go back to our shape pen. And I'm going to make, let's say I want to write my own writing, a rectangle. And see how it's all bad, so I let go. And it makes a perfect rectangle. Circle. Oh, that's got messed up, but let's get this. Okay, you know, okay. Triangle. 
Okay, you know. Okay, perfect. Turn. There we go. That. And then we can get a circle. There we go. Okay. Let's get a square. That's rectangle. Square. Square. Okay, square. Square. There we go. Square. Kind of like a square. Okay. So that's the shape pen. So another cool feature we have on Notebook is our screen shade. Okay, which is right where my mouse was. Okay, right here. Right here. So screen shade, if you have text on your screen, we have all this text, and we want students to pay attention or just show on the screen one part of that text. So we don't want to show, like, some things on our lesson. So we click on the screen shade. Now here we have, we're able to move the shade up, down, bottom to up, left to right. So we're just going to go top to bottom. So here we're able to show one part of our text. So we so we don't want students to pay attention to all of this down here, just to one part. And we can teach that, and then right after that, we can go down to the next one. That's screen sheet. Um, so that's a cool thing we have. Um, let's see, we have... We can go to another cool feature if we go to our gallery over here. And we're going to type in dice. I don't know if you guys know about that. Or die. Now we see interactive media. I want to see dice here. So let's click on the the blue English one. So now it's been entered into notebook or dice. So now if we click on the dice, the dice roll. So you can do this with interactive things on the smart board or IntelliBoard and any interactive whiteboard you have, eBeam. So let's say we're doing probability. So What's the probability of getting um, a even number on a die, which is a dice? Okay, so let's so we have on an even number on a dice. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So even numbers are two, four. And six. So out of a die, you would get um, three out of six, which is the probability. So you can use the dice to do interact things. Another cool thing is playing chess. So let's go back to a gallery and type in on the bottom chess. So now with chess you can click on related folders get a, a chess board thing bring it into notebook and with the students you're able to do interactive things with this chess so if you guys want to play chess take a piece over here and just move it over to the spot you want to bring it And it's really interactive with the kids. Another thing I want to show you is like, um, let's see, it's board games, crossword, deck of cars. We have like a deck of cars, Sudoku, dominoes. We have dominoes here. Okay, um, anything else I have, um, hmm. yeah, that's really cool. Okay, thanks for watching.